This video is your complete guide to PPC for lawyers. I'm going to teach you the following in the most succinct manner possible. The value of Google Ads in PPC campaigns for attorneys, how to select the right agency to manage your campaigns, the best practices associated with PPC for lawyers, why you should consider performance max campaigns, how to optimize your landing pages, how to set up your reporting so you can transparently track from click to case. Okay, let's jump right in. Google Ads is valuable for your law firm because it can bring in cases immediately. It does not take an extended period of time like SEO. It differs greatly from paid social. Facebook and Instagram ads are when you are looking for clients. Your ad shows on the user's feed when they are casually scrolling. But PPC consists of bottom of funnel searches, so the prospective client is actively looking for an attorney. These are considered high intent searches. While PPC has a lot of upside for your firm, it also comes with a considerable amount of risk. That risk is due to the fact that attorney keywords are expensive and the PPC market is flooded with amateurs or larger agencies assigning 50 plus accounts to one junior rep. So be careful out there. Is it imperative you align yourself with the right marketing agency? Let's talk about how to select the right agency partner. They must be able to do the following when you are evaluating them. Demonstrate expertise in legal campaigns. Do not let a general agency convince you that the industry does not matter. They don't know what they don't know, and you certainly do not want them learning on your dime. An agency with extensive experience in attorney PPC campaigns will be able to apply learnings from past failures and successes to your campaigns. They must be able to assign an expert account manager. Law firms seem to neglect to ask during the sales cycle about who their account manager will be. You are entitled to know who will be responsible for managing your budget. How many accounts do they manage? Do they have the bandwidth to give your account the attention it deserves? How accessible will they be to you? Do they have any relevant success stories they can share? This person is quickly going to become an important extension of your marketing department. So it's important you trust them and establish a good relationship early on. They must be able to show you high quality landing pages. If they can't show you great landing pages, this is a red flag. If the agency lands all traffic on law firm home pages or inner pages, you know they are amateur and you can simply, simply walk away early. If after reviewing their landing pages, you are not impressed, the quality of the work might not live up to your standard. They must be able to produce great reporting. You will need to ask questions about the reporting capabilities and even ask to review a sample report. Managing the metrics and results will inform future decisions, like whether to stop, increase budget, launch new campaigns, or target new cities. They must be able to transparently explain their billing. There's one question you need to ask early on, and there is only one correct answer. Ask them if they impound or bill for the Google Ads budget directly. If they say yes, walk away. Your budget should be billed by Google, not a marketing company. The marketing agency should only be billing for their Google Ads management fee. Agencies impound for Google Ads budgets so they can use complex tech to charge you after every click. This model almost always results in massive fees as high as 50% and very messy reporting. Now, let's dive into the best practices associated with managing a best-in-class PPC campaign for a law firm. Think mobile first. Remember, most of your clicks are probably going to come from mobile. So make sure you write your ads and construct your landing pages accordingly. Some of your headlines and description copy on your ads are going to be condensed on mobile. Keep this in mind when you're crafting compelling copy. We're going to talk more about landing pages later, but make sure the experience is excellent for mobile. Write great ad copy. As you probably know, Google has been pushing hard towards automation and machine learning. That's one reason they remove expanded text ads as an option in implemented responsive search ads, also known as RSAs. With RSAs, Google will rotate your headlines and descriptions. Your goal is to write compelling copy, earn an ad strength of 
excellent and ensure relevancy for your prospective client. This can be a tricky process and may require a few rewrites. According to Google, improving ad strength from poor to excellent can result in up to 9% more clicks and conversions. Okay, utilize Google Ads extensions. Google allows you to add assets to your ad in the forms of extensions. Example extensions would be site links, callouts, structured snippets, call extensions, lead form extensions, locations extensions, price, and promotion extensions. These assets add content to your ad, allow you to take up more space on the SERP, and generally increase the prominence of your ad. This can result in higher click-through rates and ultimately more conversions. One extension that is of particular importance is the location extension. You'll need to integrate your Google Ads account with your Google Profile Manager in order to be able to be eligible for this extension. The locations extension enables your ad to show in Google Maps above the organic map listings, which is prime real estate. Next, you need to focus on quality scores. Quality scores range from one to 10 and are measured at the keyword level. A higher score means your ad and landing page are more relevant and useful to people searching for your keyword. Quality score incorporates three components. Expected click-through rate, which is how likely your ad will be clicked when it is shown to the user. Ad relevance, which is, which is how closely your ad copy aligns with the user's search intent. And lastly, the landing page experience, experience, which is a measurement of how relevant and useful your landing page is to users who clicked your ad. At this point, you're probably realizing the importance of creating an overall relevant experience for your prospective clients. The user's search intent must align with your keyword. The keyword must align with your ad copy. And your ad copy must align with your landing page copy. This structure creates a great user experience which satisfies the user's intent. Google's judging you versus the competitors participating in your auction. The above components receive a grade of above average, average, and below average. You will want to periodically review quality scores and work to improve the three mentioned components in order to obtain the highest scores possible. You, will want, you also want to test performance max or PMAX campaigns. PMAX campaigns are goal-based and allow law firms to access all of Google's inventory from a single campaign. In this case, inventory is defined as mobile phone apps, Google Maps, YouTube, Gmail, Blogger, and thousands of other Google partner sites across the internet. It's best to run a traditional search campaign and PMAX campaign at the same time. PMAX will complement your search campaign, but also respect its keyword targeting, meaning the search campaign will be prioritized when possible. PMAX uses automation in an attempt to reach prospects across all of Google's channels. Ads are created from images, video, headlines, descriptions, logos, and audience signals that you add to your asset group. Google will create different combinations of your assets depending on where your ad is being displayed. Impressions and clicks are typically substantially more cost-effective than traditional search campaigns, but conversions vary based on your local market, practice area, quality of your assets, landing page design, and daily budget. It's definitely worth building a comprehensive PMAX campaign, allocating a test budget, and reviewing the results. Next, you want to optimize your landing pages. You should have a landing page for each practice area focus. For personal injury campaigns, you want a page for car accidents, truck accidents, motorcycle accidents, slip and fall accidents, and any other practice area you are focused on. For family law campaigns, you want landing pages for divorce, child custody, guardianship, and other cases you want to attract. Remember, landing pages do what your full website cannot do. They focus on conversion actions for specific practice areas. They typically can convert at a higher rate than full websites. Okay, here are the required elements for a high converting legal landing page. The first element is the hero section of your landing page. You only have a split second to make a good first impression, so choose your hero layout and media carefully. If you choose a picture of yourself or the team, 
make sure it is a recent high quality shot. If you use video, make sure the quality is high and the message is meaningful. Typically, next to the media is your first opportunity to, to write conversion-focused sales copy. Here's where you want to communicate the message around why they should choose you. Remember, it's the why, not the what. So don't just write car accident lawyer in this section or whatever the core keyword was. Instead, meticulously craft your conversion-centric copy. The next section is your content. Since this is not an SEO page, you don't need long form written content. Quite the opposite, in fact. You want to focus on relevant subheaders and persuasive bullet point copy. Readability needs to be high. Users need to be able to read and easily understand the content. The copy should succinctly show the user you have a solution for their problem or pain point. Most people make decisions emotionally, so your copy should compel the reader to learn more and connect with their emotions. One mistake that I often see is feature dumping. It's okay to talk about the features of your service, but make sure to include the benefits of the features. While features are valuable, communicating the benefits will influence the user to call, chat, or submit a form. The next important element of your landing page is social proof. Hopefully by now you have dozens or even hundreds of impressive reviews. This is the perfect opportunity to show off your client reviews. Prospective clients want you to establish trust for them. So why not handpick your top reviews and showcase them to the landing page? Make sure to select reviews that are relevant to the specific practice area. You can also supplement the social proof section with awards and badges you have earned over the years. The next section is your case results. This section will only be applicable to certain types of law. It tends to have a high impact on personal injury law and criminal defense law campaigns. Let your past results do the talking. Simply curate your law firm's most impressive results and show them off. This section is not intended to set expectations, but instead is designed for you to demonstrate your capabilities. Your conversion goals are the purpose of your landing page. You'll want to give the user several opportunities to convert. Conversion options should be calling the firm, submitting a form, and possibly live chat. I recommend a sticky header so the user always has access to the phone number. Make sure you enable click to call so users can easily initiate phone calls from their mobile devices. Spend time designing your conversion buttons and forms so they catch the attention of the user. Design them to stand out by playing with fonts, colors, sizing, placement, and the actual text on the button. Okay, let's move on to reporting. There are dozens of metrics associated with Google Ads campaigns, but you are a busy attorney running a firm, which means you need to focus on what matters to you. You should be looking at high-level data weekly and a more comprehensive report on a monthly basis. Make sure you work with an agency that uses a modern reporting tool that displays data in an easy to digest format. Don't hesitate to request sample reporting while you're interviewing your marketing partner. This is absolutely appropriate. Here are a few metrics you should be looking at. The first metric I encourage you to take a look at is impressions. An impression is counted every time your ad is shown on the SERP or on another Google property. Number of clicks. You need to know the click volume so you can set realistic expectations in regards to conversions. Click-through rate, or your CTR, is the number of clicks received divided by the number of impressions. A low CTR, like 1%, tells you your ad copy is underperforming and needs to be addressed. A high CTR, like 10%, informs you your ad copy is high performing and users are clicking your ad instead of competing ads. Cost per click. When reviewing CPC, I'm looking for extremely expensive clicks that drain budgets. These clicks require monitoring to see if they can provide a positive ROI. Quality of conversions. This is what you really care about and is a great way to see how things are going. Conversion breakdown. This is looking at the different types of conversions like phone calls versus form submissions. Your conversion rate. This is a simple formula that takes the quantity of conversions and divides them by the number of ad interactions. So if you had five conversions and 100 ad interactions, your conversion rate would be 
cost of conversions. This is an important metric for you. You need to know your cost per conversion and how many conversions from Google Ads you typically need to acquire a new client. That way, when you review Google Ads data, you can quickly gauge whether your cost per conversion is trending in the right direction. Search impression share. If you are like our clients, you probably want to know your potential on Google Ads. That's where impression share comes into play. Impression share is the percentage of impressions your campaign or ad receives compared to what it could receive or what is possible. It's a great way to understand if more clicks are available to you if you decide to scale up a high performing campaign. Lastly, you want to simplify everything by reporting on how much you spent, the number of cases you obtained, and the projected value of those cases. I recommend the following tools to streamline this process. Gravity Forms on your landing page. This is a great form builder for WordPress. Call Rail, an excellent call tracking tool and the leader in the industry. Zapier, an automation tool that integrates with Gravity Forms and Call Rail. You can use Zapier to centralize your leads. Doesn't really matter where, but I highly recommend you centralize all of your leads. You can use Zapier to zap all of your data into a CRM, practice management software, or Google Sheets. I like Google Sheets because you can add custom columns and build in simple formulas. Once you have your Google ad spend and case values added, with some really simple math, you can calculate your return on ad spend. Review your figures and let the data inform your future decisions. I hope you found this video informative and you feel I have prepared you for success with Google Ads. When mismanaged, Google Ads can be a colossal waste of money. When managed properly by skilled professionals, Google Ads can be a major source of revenue in new cases. As always, if you have questions, feel free to leave them in the comments or contact me directly through the Rocket Pilots website. If you did find this video valuable, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel.